an exclusive report on a kidney racket functioning between India and Nepal. My colleague Anvit is joining us live for more details on this. Anvit, can you give us more details on the functioning of this racket, how it has been functioning and what are the loopholes in the system which allow such a racket to be functioned? So, uh, Anjali, see, we started our investigation from Kathmandu. I and uh, video journalist Raju Khatri, we went to Kathmandu and then we travelled extensively uh, across villages and places where these uh, victims come from. In fact, uh, these are donors who have donated their kidneys for uh, good prices that they believe that uh, their kidneys could fetch them. Uh, all because uh, they are they come from a lower ec uh, economic group, uh, they have a very low income. Most of these are either, you know, working small time farmers or people who are just uh, you know uh, doing menial jobs to get uh, earn their daily bread uh, and when we we travel to Kamre, we travel to Nuva Court, we went to Jamdi, Rampur, uh, we extensive traveler, extensively traveled across villages and uh, what we found that there are several donors you know in fact there are some villages like Hoxe uh, it is also known as the uh, Kidney Valley because uh, most of the uh, most of the family families that live there uh, one or the two members of the families they have uh, in some point of time given uh, their kidney needs just to make their families live a better life uh, and uh, see if you talk about uh, police and uh, other agencies there are anti-human trafficking bureaus there are uh, there's NHRC that is working and we spoke to officials also and they have said that uh, it is the only the preventive measures that can be taken and not the prosecutions alone will help because the rate of uh, uh, you know uh, organ trafficking is so high between India and Nepal that uh, any time in, in a, a demand is raised in India uh, a, a search for a donor begins in Nepal and that is that is how the Nepal has over the years become hub of you know supplying kidneys uh, and uh, this is all because the gap in uh, you know, organs availability in the legal market is so less that uh, like uh, Dr. Anoop we heard him saying that at every year at least two lakh patients are registered uh, who require kidney transplant but only 5,000 to 6,000 operations are done transplants are done every day which is the legal way of procuring a kidney so uh, the gap is of at least 1 lakh 80,000 1 lakh 85,000 kidneys that uh, we are short of uh, and that is the reason why this illegal trade has uh, risen uh, to the level that uh, you know we, we are reporting it uh, like this uh, so th these are the reasons and we spoke when we spoke to authorities in Nepal they are also shocked they have been saying that uh, it's not something new and this is an open secret but uh, you know someone has to stop this because uh, in the early 90s when this trade had actually surfaced uh, in the international media uh, it is as prevalent as today as it was then it is equally prevalent even today so the, this is uh, when we spoke to uh, authorities there in Nepal Nepal or India, everyone has said that this, there, uh, it is high time now, you know, some action must be taken and some preventive measures uh, need to be put in place. Anwit, what is the price of a single kidney and how much do the donors get and the middlemen get? See, uh, as far as the prices are concerned, uh, they may go up to as high as 12 to 15 lakhs or even 20 lakhs in some cases. It all depends on how aware is the donor uh, these days because uh, this is, uh, see, this is illegal, uh, illicit market, uh, black market of organ. And you can ask for as much price depending upon the desperation of the recipient uh, who is probably in India or maybe in some other country, maybe Bangladesh or Middle East. So uh, it all depends. Uh, and also over the time, these donors have become very cautious and they have become very aware of how much price uh, their kidneys can fetch them initially you know they they there were cases where people were uh, used to be fooled uh, and you know they used to be taken to, from nepal to india on pretext of good jobs on a better living and then they were told that they have gained some or the other ailment and some some illness and uh, you know to, to treat them they are being taken to hospital and they were finally operated without their consent and their kidneys were taken away uh, we had one such case also like we interviewed that boy in the blue shirt he did not want to uh, bring his name to surface but uh, uh, he uh, he confessed that that he was told that he is he he's being treated for something else and then his kidney was taken up later when he uh, went back to Nepal and he got uh, you know, he he had developed some complications and he got it himself tested he came to know that one of his kidneys are missing as compensation he was given rupees six lakhs so uh, see these these prices are being paid but today. Uh, the people are less uh, less of people are being fooled because they are now aware and they know how much price can their kidneys fetch for them in fact we met one of the families three members of those families have given kidney each at one decade from now so every 10 years one person is giving kidney because the family is uh, falling short of finances and this is the way they have found out uh, to you know to sell off one of the kidneys of the family members whenever they're short of money or whenever they want to uh, you know uh, do a marriage in the family there's some other function you they want to buy some Thing, uh, you know, uh, 
to meet their financial demands basically it has now gone beyond basics it's not just about survival but to attain any luxury to to you know to conduct a marriage in a some uh, mammoth uh, way on a uh, big celebration this is now how they, it is developing and prices go as high as 12 to 15 lakhs while those who are not very well aware they also settle for a meager amount of 4 to 6 lakhs uh, and this is about the donors if we talk about the middlemen and the doctors doctors are paid usually 3 to 4 lakhs rupees uh, per surgery because the you know these surgeries are conducted mostly in makeshift uh, clinics uh, which are not even hospitals and in fact we have seen in some of the cases like we heard uh, joint commissioner of police meenu choudhury from delhi uh, she had been saying that uh, they had raided one such setup of clinic where uh, some persons were arrested in fact in that case in that particular case the person who was operating uh, these patients was not even a doctor he was just uh, uh, from one of delhi's private reputed hospitals he was one of the attendants uh, you know who had been performing surgeries on these people uh, and these people who perform uh, surgeries uh, are paid uh, some uh, 1 to 2 lakh while middlemen also get the same amount so this is the monetary distribution among the, uh, in, in this racket but uh, see uh, like delhi police also said that they have time and again laid hands on such rackets active in delhi and previously also in 2016 5 people were arrested so they have very much penetrated into delhi's uh, or uh, you know other indian states as well right anvit as you mentioned that the nepal authorities are well aware of this racket which has been going on so what is the action taken by the nepal government is there any action being taken at all by the government uh, given that they are well aware of the fact that this racket has been going on the anti human trafficking bureau in nepal is quite active and so is the nhrc but nhrc's domain only comes after the police's action uh, when the police does not take action in any case or does not register any fir then nhrc comes into picture but see uh, we'll have to understand that all these problems are beyond prosecutions and beyond legal actions there need to be certain programs by the government certain awareness programs some employment program because see this uh, why this problem has generated is only because of the poverty and unemployment in nepal and that is the problem uh, why you know it has risen to this level that uh, you know uh, we are reporting it right now uh, and uh, these are there they need to be some awareness programs also along with the education and uh, employment program they need to be legal awareness programs as to uh, people don't know what legal trouble they can get into see these people come from a background where they do not know what legal trouble they can attract when they go out and sell off their kidneys or their organs they are uh, completely unaware and uh, when when an fir is registered on them they are totally clueless what to do and how to go about the legal cases and what are the legalities what are the acts in nepal that you know that prevent a person from giving away their organs in the illegal way so uh, these are the complications that uh, people uh, fall prey to and uh, in fact they are not very well aware uh, along with that uh, socio economic problem is also one of the big problems why nepal is facing such a crisis we met some uh, senior officials there who did not want to come on record who did not want to speak us on camera but they told us that the main problem lies in the social economic problem because people are very uh, poverty stricken and they they uh, they do not uh, have uh, you know enough infrastructure to uh, come out and earn money and feed their family and this is the way that they find this is a shortcut that they find to feed their families at every uh, uh, you know at at the intervals of some 10 to 12 years one of the family members goes out and gives away their kidneys and these people are very easy to track because they lack finances they are very easy to lure these rackets in uh, working in most of them active in india who are working you know across uh, international borders like india and nepal they uh, zero down on such people it is the modus operandi that they uh, find out these people who are who are desperate you know who are in desperation of finances and then uh, they are lured by you know someone who is uh, who needs money to for food or maybe for basics if he is given a, an amount of 12 to 15 lakhs he certainly will agree to these uh, you know to to such a practice and that is the reason why such programs need to be uh, taken up in nepal by the nepal government more and more so that people can be made aware and they should know about the legalities of organ uh, organ donation how this can uh, land them in legal trouble right anvit thank you for giving us all those details on this mega cnn news 18 exclusive